All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, which are of uh, the nation of Israel. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, uh, which consists of uh, the one third great multitude of men, women, and children that believe in the, uh, the gospel of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. All right. And uh, uh, really, what I, what I wanted to talk about was. Uh, you know edification because that's why we uh do these videos you know we hope to uh edify the body of mashiach you know the church of mashiach you know to the best of our ability we hope that we can wake up brothers and sisters and children you know the the uh the sisters and children they come it's like they don't come last but this thing that we're in it's about the men first you know what i'm saying like yahweh shah's disciples they were men they were not uh women you know but you had women that believed you know and uh children that would believe too you know so i was reading something in ephesians i believe it's the fourth chapter it talked about uh how how uh it went into edification basically i can't remember the scripture but you can read ephesians chapter four and basically uh now i, I want to get it i'm gonna get it real quick so hold on i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna get it because we all do this for edification you know we want to edify to the best of our ability you know we want to get out this bring out this information as much as possible all right and uh <clears throat> it's ephesians i'm gonna go to the uh fourth chapter so just bear with me real quick and this be a quick sit down it can be long or nothing like that it'd be real quick just bear with me. We're almost there. <laughs> Alright, this is Ephesians chapter 4. Alright, it's like it. Ephesians 4, and I'm going to start at 12. It says, For the perfection of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Mashiach. So, we're ministering this word you know we're doing the works and uh, basically we're doing this to hopefully edify you brothers and sisters that hear this truth and want to uh you, you have answers basically you know you won't i mean you not <laughs> not have answers we had the answers but y'all have the questions you know to to you know to answer the questions you know like uh did the lord die for everybody you know no you know he died for the nation of Israel, you know. Uh, in the nation of Israel, you so-called best Latinos, Native Americans, the ones that went into captivity and slavery and, and broke the curses, all right? And uh, it says, till we all come in the unity of the faith through hearing the word and of the knowledge of the Son of the Most High unto a perfect man unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Mashiach. Alright? So that's what this is about. You know, we're preaching this word in hopes that the elect will hear this word and come into the to the belief. Salakia, come into the belief. You know, come into the faith of Yahweh Shah Mashiach through his father Yahweh. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. And Yahweh Shah is the true name of his son. When people say God and Jesus Christ, those are Greek titles. But they know damn well that he's a Hebrew. So <clears throat> the language that they were speaking back then is the uh it was the Paleo Hebrew. It was not the same Hebrew as when they spoke of as a uh as like how they uh speak today, you know, that Yiddish bullshit. 
that's a mixed uh, language. It is not the language that they spoke back then. His name is not Yeshua or uh, what, uh, as I said, Yahshua. Uh, Yahweh is not, um, what's, what's some other bullshit names? Um, Jehovah um, and all those other names. Look, if it ain't Yahweh or Yahweh Shah, it's not it. All right? That's, that's not the names, okay? And those names are not going to get you salvation. If you're not calling upon Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, you, you're not going to make it. All right? And you better hope you need let. All right? That's what it's all about. It's all about faith and belief and that you're the elect. And when the apostles and elders and the brothers, when we teach this word, it's not certain parts that you like. Oh, I like this, this uh, breakdown about this scripture. Oh, uh, oh, I don't like how this brother teach. Look, we're all the same body of Mashiach. No matter how it's taught, no matter how rough it's brought out, you know, it ain't about that. All right? It's about, look, are you understanding what we are preaching? What's being taught to you? You know, that's what it's about. All right? You have to understand and know what time it is, you know, what's coming. You know, that's what it's about. Like, are you ready? Because Yahweh Shah is coming. You know, he's coming. And uh, America is not going to last too long. America's going to be destroyed in World War Three. All right? So that's what this is about. Edification. All right? So with that, I'm going to say, call Allah, Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Israel, which are of great millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect of Israel. Shalom to the sincere Akim brothers that they preach his word in truth and sincerity. Um, and a couple other things. Uh, I, I'm, I'm just going to say it, you know, I ain't been fasting like that. We're supposed to be fasting. And uh, I, I got kind of sick, <laughs> you know, a little bit, a little allergy cold or whatever, but it, it's cool. You know, I'm going to get right back on that. And that's what we got to do, too. We got to fast and uh, keep the gospel, you know, it, that will help, you know, it will help add to the knowledge, you know, because when you, when you fast, you're not relying on food, you're relying on your spirit, you know, and that's what this is about, you know, relying on your spirit, and also, too, when you fast, it's going to help in times when, uh, when the famine hit, and there ain't going to be no food out here, but the Lord said that his servants shall eat, you know, but, but still, you know, it's going to be a test, you know, you can, you can go out, go out eating, go without eating for about three, four days, you know, you can't bug the fuck out, and, oh, I got to you know, because people are going to be killing to, to, uh, for lack of bread. You know what I'm saying? They're going to be uh, invading each other's houses, you know, because they're hungry, feeding their family. Or even, too, they're going to take that goddamn microchip. Come on, man. You're going to take a microchip just to eat, bro? Seriously, think about it. Instead of lying on the most high. You're going to sit here and take a microchip. You're going to actually sit down and take a microchip while you could have been uh, sitting down eating food, praising the Lord. Come on, man. You know, and you got to pray that that don't happen to you because the album temptation is no joke, man. It ain't going to be no joke. You know, it scares me and I'm talking about it. You know, I mean, that's just the fear of the Lord, though. You know, it's going to get real. It's gonna get real, real. And when the shit get real, what you gonna do? It ain't gonna be no no time of running. Oh, no, I'm not no Hebrew Israelite. I'm, I'm not. You, you a Hebrew Israelite? Get on the ground. Who? You believe in? It's, it's gonna get real like that. So with that, I'm gonna close this out. Say shalom.